heading to the American line. Beautiful day. They haven't plowed the road since last time I was here. It wasn't plowed last time for about a week, so it's about two weeks since they plowed it. Huh? Minus 10. Cottonwoods. Cottonwoods hang out down in the, the river bottoms. like a wolf trail to me. This is the Kalua Creek and it runs into the Sikkany. I'm trapping at the end of this road, past, past the end of this road. So far this person went, she's not even Looks like I'm breaking trail the rest of the ways. There's a wolf track there. Coming this way. I'm actually, uh, most of the trap line's on the other side of that Clue Creek. Okay, I'm gonna have to use two hands here to stay on the trail. Pack of wolves just come on the trail on the road here, off the cut block there, had to piss up them. Looks like they're headed this way. There's a couple, there's a, two or three there anyway. Looked like someone went off the road there a bit. That other one was joined in there somewhere. But these, uh, Fresher tracks last day or two. We haven't had the snow in a couple of days. See, they even, they're snooping out there, they're hunting. I think there's three there. So there's, there's probably more somewhere else. You just split up like that and surround it. Sniff it out and call for the others. I'll uh, let you know if I see anything that's not on my trap line here, so I can't. There's no good to set people on the side of the road. They'll come in here and plow and plow it all up. Waste your time. Chances of them coming back again before they plow the road are pretty slim. If, if I could do it, you know what I mean? See it on the trail here. Just figured I'd show you. I tried to get my camera out before I pass by where you come onto the road here, but never happened. We've been going up the sides of snow banks, sniffing and going, sniffing and going. This is the older cut blocks here. See a moose come onto the road here and there's moose there's Good thing about on broken trail, you get to see everything's going on. This is whether they come before or after. 
sure, I don't know. These wolves, they're, they're on the hunt, which they're always on the hunt. come down that other cut block. Hmm. If they keep going to the end, I might have a crack at them. But I don't have permission on this trap line. It's kind of late to go ask him now, but... These are all old cut blocks thrown back up. Stick to the roads here to try to find them because it's better going. There's probably close to uh, 20 inches of snow, probably. So some has gone again now. Look, I can tell by the trail. Some just went off in that cut block. Like the phone, they, they came back in here again. They go out, and they snoop, they come back in, they have a piss up. There's lots of pee posts. If I, had, if I owned this trap line and I knew they weren't going to plow this road again, I'd definitely be putting people sets out. Hitting old and new tracks now. <coughs> I see they're pissing up the same piss post they, they did when they were here before. I'm sure it's the same ones. They probably got a kill and came out. And went all the way out and now they're headed back in here again. see uh, some older tracks in the snow there and stuff. Both the tracks are since I was here in a week. So there's the old ones right there. Because we had one snowfall since I've been out here for a check. So far they've went 36 kilometers. They're probably going to go pretty much to the end of the road maybe. Or they might they might end off here at the end of this burn and go out or something. There's a the rivers down there, so they might go out on that. Uh, there's only two here right now, so a couple. No, there's three there. One branched off. They'll keep doing that. The old ways. Scent. I haven't been minding crossing the bridges either with the roads not plowed. So when the roads plowed, they kind of sometimes they do go across and sometimes they go down like they did right there and come up the other side right there. It's always a good spot to set traps just on each side of the bridges. And they're gone. They went to the left, like I figured, right at the end of the burn. Gave up wolf tracks for lynx tracks. <laughs> Crazy. There's a couple there. Big cats. It looks like big cats. Nothing so far, four, five, five cone sets. I put out a couple more along the way, but nothing in that 330 box. I had one Martin come to one of them. I see he pulled the bow out of the side of the trap deer, but he never got in there. It's a pretty close to zero. This has settled it out a little bit. It's not really melting, but the Falling off the trees and stuff. This is a trap back from the pond where I got a, a uh, 
Merton last time. As soon as I crossed the, the creek, there was a lynx came on my trail, but he just went out through the woods just right there. I don't know if I spooked him or not. He just all of a sudden went out there. Weasel tracks here. And this is why I worried about the dog wandering around. Freaking porcupine. I caught one down this on this on that other line year a few years ago. Yeah, he took the trap and all. Mr. Parkypine. First catch of the day, boy. <laughs> Mr. Weasel. Yep. I haven't seen a Martin track yet. Hopefully back in this back end there, they start producing. Looks like he must have got some bait before he got caught. I had plenty in there. Mr. Lynx came by, but uh, Mr. Wolverine was there too. Just the next set down from that milk crate. You never, you'd think he'd have tried that weasel. Must be the day of the weasels, because I had one, I said that was the first catch back there, but I had one, it was just a, a little bit of white fur and another one must have come and ate him. My first trap on the trail, I didn't video it. But he pounced in through there and went back too by the looks of it. And that link's been on my trail there a little bit. And he never came to that box. Okay, get this reset. Boy, what a day. Finally got one. And we got one here the last time too, a big male. This looks like another good male. The rabbit was there. Got him before the snow, so it wasn't too long after I checked. Right on. There's my cone, right there. Okay, I'll get them taken out here and we're getting to the end, but I put four new sets out or three, I can't remember now. So hopefully we get a couple more at least. Right on. Fresh tracks. Picked up another one and this one snowed in, so. And the bait's gone, so that's good. Another one here still. That's a nice one too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice big, nice big male. He's hanging out in the back because I try to get him on underneath the trees so nothing sees him from above. Not real dark, but Beauty Martin. Two in a row. Fresh Martin sign all around. And this one's got snow on them. Still a little bit of bait there. This looks like a, a male too, but a, well, he's not bad. He's probably a juvenile, but light color one. This is the from here on now, it's the ones I put out last time. So we'll see how we did on that. Not shutting off my sled anymore, I'm too far back. So, uh, get trap replaced and, and uh, move along. First two traps, weasel stole the bait. Bait's gone out of this one too. 
must be another one around here by the looks of it. Because that one's got a bit of snow on it too. Yeah. It's more timbery up here. Okay, we're going to take it out. Reset another trap. Good stuff. It's number four. And two weasels. <laughs> River here. As far as I go down this way, you go up, up to there. It's an old cat trail. But it's about uh, 10 or 12 feet down over there, but I think we might be able to get down here. Just had to cut all this stuff out, throw it down there, and take the snow from the top. Once it's tired, I think we can get there. You can see there's a moose around here tracks there and then on the, on the race. I had a Martin at the last set there but he never went in there. So I end up with the four Martin and two Jesus. So we're gonna head her back. Head her back home and see what the mutt's doing. Didn't have him with him with me today. He's grounded. Took him to work with me, he took off for two or three hours, and that's the end of that. When he becomes a nuisance, he's no longer in my company. Stay home till he figures it out. Okay, it's a good day. Sun was out there for a bit, but it's gone in the clouds now, and it's, I don't know what it is, about 4.30, so. Try to get back to the truck before dark, load up, head her home. Go uh, check my wolf bait, probably, I don't know about tomorrow, might be the next day. And probably go to the camp for a couple nights again. See what happens. Talk to you later. Sorry about the sled running, but I'm not shutting her off. I don't feel like walking if it don't start. See you on the next episode.